Good morning, you're watching Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18 from the Mumbai News Centre. I'm Sonu Bhutra and those are the top headlines that we are tracking this Monday morning. A lot, lot to catch up on. But first up, as always, let's take a look at what the Asian markets are doing today. Most of them are shut. We have Shanghai, which is shut today. Korean markets are shut as well as we have no queues coming in from the Hang Seng markets as well. So let's pull up uh, the Taiwanese index for you because that is largely in the green as we speak. Uh, we have Taiwanese index up around 1.7% and across the board we are seeing a big bout of buying as far as the uh, markets in Asia are concerned. Uh, even if you look at the Nikkei, that is higher, uh, higher in the green, up around 1.1% as we speak. And this is after the positive handover that we got from Wall Street. Of course, the big number that everyone is watching out for is the US inflation uh, fine print, which will be out tomorrow. And SJX Nifty, as a result of all this, is indicating that the start could be mildly in the green. Actually, it has come off from the highs. It's absolutely flat, but with some positive bias. So that is something we'll be watching out for. Let's talk about the US markets. Wall Street ended Friday's trading session sharply higher with the Dow Jones gaining over 1%, the S&P 500 surging over 1.5% and the Nasdaq Composite, the day's outperformer, closing with gains of over 2%. CNBC's Sarah Eisen gets us a wrap of all the action on Wall Street. Stocks sending higher for the third straight day with the major averages notching gains for the week, breaking a three-week slump for stocks. The Dow advancing nearly 400 points, adding more than 2.5% this week. The S&P 500 finishing the week up more than 3.5%. And the Nasdaq, the biggest winner of the three major averages, closing up more than 4% on the week. Electric vehicle maker Tesla considering building a lithium refinery plant on the Gulf Coast of Texas to support more EV production. According to a newly released letter to the Texas Comptroller's Office, Tesla says the plan would be the first of its kind in North America. Prices of lithium have exploded over the past year amid the surge in electric vehicle batteries where metal is a key component. The company said the operation could be up and running by 2024.